At noon, a restaurant is left in shambles after it's rocked by an early morning explosion. Two people were hurt in the big blast early this morning. CBS 4's Gabby Fleischman is live for us at the scene in Homestead with more on what sparked the explosion. Gabby? Elliot, witnesses tell me that they heard a loud bang. They rushed out here to La Fondita restaurant, saw it up in flames. They found two victims badly burned but conscious and tell me that the owner of the restaurant who was injured was just frantically trying to move cars away from the building to avoid more explosions, but he could not save his restaurant. And fire investigators are telling us that the propane tanks you see right there are to blame. A homestead restaurant diminished to rubble, blown to pieces after an explosion caused the building to collapse. And it's a family restaurant been open for years. For it to go down in flames, it really hurts. Two victims were airlifted to Kendall Regional Medical Center with second degree burns to their faces, according to paramedics. Family members say the victims are Alfredo Serrano and Odelia Mondragon, the owner of La Fondita Mexican restaurant and his daughter-in-law. It was around 6.30 a.m. when relatives say the two were opening up for the morning and the building on Southwest 6th Avenue and 3rd Street burst into flames. When they opened the door, obviously something ignited uh, and there was a gas leak and the uh, structure exploded. Miami-Dade Fire Rescue says the 500 square foot structure had been filling up with propane gas all night. As little as a switch and a light switch would be an ignition source to cause the explosion. Firefighters extinguished the flames and searched the rubble with cadaver dogs to make sure no one was trapped inside. The restaurant owner's daughter says her family is devastated by the destruction, but thankful her father and sister-in-law will be okay. The tragedy that happened, uh, you know, we just got to learn to move on, keep going forward with this. Hopefully my family members are doing fine and, you know, live on. And investigators are still on scene here, kind of sifting through this rubble, taking a closer look at those propane tanks to try and figure out exactly what caused this leak. They obviously say that if this explosion would have happened during operating hours, we could be dealing with a much worse situation. Again, the two victims are still in the hospital. We're told they are being treated for burns, but they're expected to be okay. We're live from Homestead. Gabby Fleischman, CBS 4 News. Gabby, thank you. Now to a developing story.